everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's do an unboxing. See what kind of goodies we have in here. I'm so excited. Oh boy, this should be fun. It is the Civics Big Shot Switch Plus machine. It's really not that heavy. Some plates. This will be our sandwiches. I tell you what, I'm going to stop the video. We're going to switch and do an overview. See what I did? Switch. Yeah. <laughs> Let me set up the camera. These are the plates for it, but let's get the machine out. And our goodies. Oh my goodness. Our instructions. We will take a look at that. This is the first time I've never owned this machine. It talks about the machine. It talks about some storage it has. It has a one-touch reverse handles that you can carry it with and it has an overload detection system. Now that is wonderful. Take a look at this now. It is very well packed. That beautiful black. There's that storage area that they talked about. That's nice. You can keep your picks in there or whatever you want. It has two nice handles on the side where you can pick it up and it's it's got some weight to it, but it's not bad. Let's get it plugged in. I'm gonna pause the camera. Okay, I've got the plug plugged in. And this just plugs in the back. Here's the instructions. Always take a look at it. I've already shared this with my group, a link to Civics that has all the different machines. I'll put that in the comments and that way if you want to read about this, you can. I have already done so. So we're gonna put that up. Plates. All right, with the plates, they have a bevel to edge the Civic does, and that way it's a smooth when you take in, and you'll see that. 
but it has civics engraved on each end of the plates, which is very nice. This is your A adapter plate. This, the Big Shot Switch platform. And it has all the information on here. It tells you what to do when you're die cutting. But this is your sandwich, what you would use for a thinlet. And then this one tells you the embossing and texture impressions and it has all the information right on your platform and adapter plate. That makes it so easy. We're going to do this. I know they saw the leaf video that I did. Oh, this is wonderful. This just doesn't make an impression it die cuts it. So let me get set up. I cut me a piece of paper to go in here. And it tells you right here what to do. This is also a cut. And you only have the platform. This and a plate. It seems awful thick, so we'll see. <laughs> no hands. Let's see how it's done. Oh, it's perfect. Look, oh my goodness, is that not beautiful? Wow, and so easy. Cut a small piece of paper, put it in there. You put your base plate and one, one clear plate. That is gorgeous. I love it. This is the texture plate. Oh, I love that design. Now for this one, it is your base plate, your clear plate, your design or folder, and another clear plate. And you put that in and you let it go. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. One side is just as pretty as the other. That is gorgeous. No manual turning. Wow. Pausing. Now this is a 3D plate. That looks beautiful. And for it, let's put your paper in here. You have your base plate, you have your 3D enfolder, and you have your clear plate for this 3D embossing folder. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Wow. You could put a little bit of gold on top of that. That is amazing. Never disappointed in these. Never. Now, my understanding is anything that Civix has, it works with this machine. So, this is actually a clear plate, and there's a special special thing you do with this. Okay, these are the butterfly and they're the thinlets, so you'll need 
the adapter plate. Okay, I got a bigger butterfly to do. And this is the stamping up for the big shot. And then I will use, turn it around. So you've got your base plate, your adapter plate, the special clear plate, and then you have another clear plate. Show the reverse. It's right here. That's just to show you that you can reverse it and you don't have to go all the way through. Gentle, gentle, gentle. I took it over to my trash can and got rid of all the bits and pieces, but you could do this as a card and then flip this up and have that on the inside of a card. It's a wonderful idea. I missed some of the paper right here. But as you can see, you're going to have a cut image in your glass plate. It's, you know, that's just the way it is. I'll get rid of that. Let's go on and do some more. I went to scrapbook.com website and ordered these. They had a sale and I wanted to try these magic mats out. Okay, I've got it out of the plastic, and I'm not gonna use the big one right now. I have plans for it later, but I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put the paper down, and we're gonna cut these butterflies. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, let's look at the others. This is just like an impressing thing. So it's a two layers what it is. I don't know if I've got it all together or not. And clean up the bits and pieces later, but these go together. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right. That's it. Love, love, love the way it cuts. When I tried to cut this with the Gemini Junior, it wouldn't do it. <laughs> and these magic mats seem to work really good. Um, you just flip them and turn them and they're self-healing. They're going to get pieces in them. You'll have to wash them out. 
I'm not going to do all that on here. I have one other thing I want to do. Let me pause. Okay, I've got everything set back up, and these are big sty. And this is a beautiful one that I really like at Christmas time. Since this is Christmas in July, I went in the garage and got my big, one of my big styed out. I'm thrilled that this machine does these because you can't find a lot of machines that do. I'm cutting, it's almost like cardboard. It's very thick. Clear plate, big sty, paper, and then cl another clear plate. With no trouble. Oh, that's beautiful. And you can do just about anything you want with this. Ink blend on it. Um, you can cut leather out. If you had some white leather, it would be really pretty for some Christmas ornaments. And um, felt, I mean, ink, you think of anything thick and these big styes will cut it. They are really well made. <laughs> and uh, not every die cut machine will run them through. But is that not gorgeous? Even the back side. I love it. Pretty. Well, I think that about does it. A big thank you to Civics for sending me this beautiful machine, the Civics Big Shot Switch Plus. It did not disappoint, let me tell you. It is amazing. Everything I threw at it, it cut it, embossed it, it did it all. I'm very happy with the Magic Mat. It will save your glass plates. I always use one plate for cutting and and make sure I don't cut into the other one. This will save your plates. You do not have to use a plate when you for cutting when you use the magic mat. So this is everything we've done. The leaves, the butterflies, the embossing, This embossing. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. And the special plate that they sent me to do this with, that embossing, I am blown away by these. And then the Christmas in July that I'm gonna be doing with this, that is really cute. I love this. I can do all my big styes now, and that is wonderful. I mean, look at the detail in the leaf. That, the veins and everything, that is amazing. I can think of so much to do with these. Well, that's all for now. Happy birthday, Daddy. He's in heaven. God bless you. Take care. Until next time, keep crafting, everyone. Bye for now.